mama been killed. Your sisters have been raped. Jihad is the predatory Islam. Oh, no, thank you, brother. Why are you ignoring us? Don't you care about Muslims? Of course I care. Are you a Muslim or not? You definitely saw him. Yeah, he's with them, man. Look. There he is. Go and tell Haidar that Harakat al Tawhid are back. And tell him that Farid's with them. You got something to say to me? Have you? And come over and say it to my face. You were told not to come back here. What are you doing with these idiots, Farid? Hi. Hi, that's gonna be really angry, man. Come on, let's go. Your Farid is with us now. I said, let's go. Farid is our brother. Don't you touch him. You understand what I'm saying? I'm not distributing this stuff no more. Creating all this fitna. Are you gonna stop us doing God's will? The mosque's down there. If you want to be a good Muslim, go and pray. You think that just because you pray, you're a good Muslim? The infidels are hurting Muslims, right? And when somebody attacks you, you have to defend yourself. This is England. Nobody's attacking you here. The only way to stop Blair and Bush is if they know there will be a price to pay, a heavy price. Allah Akbar! Allah Akbar! You see what you're getting into? I want to do something with my life. I'm gonna fight jihad! Allah Akbar! Farid. He's in with the Labour councillors. And what's creating the problems here for the Labour Party is Blair's hypocrisy. The Labour Party has always been a good friend to Muslims. Sorry, Mohammed, no offence, but I think it's no good you coming round to us saying that you want us to get the Muslim community behind your party and say things like, look at what we've done for Muslims in the past. The party has done a lot. It's what's happening now that's what's important. And what's happening now is making young Muslims angry. Sorry, Mohammed, but I think your generation is out of touch. Young hotheads. That's who you see now who think they know everything. You're seriously telling me you'd rather have a Tory or a Lib Dem MP? Look, we're not endorsing any party. We're saying to the people, look at the candidate. Like Una King in London, Tower Ambulance, right? She said some good things in the past, but now she supports the war. Or Jack Straw in Blackburn. <laughs> they can't expect Muslims to vote for them if they're going to support the war. But there might not be a war. <laughs> look, Tony says he's trying hard to avoid it. And you believe him? Do you honestly think he's the kind of man who wants a war? I think his mind is made up, and he made it up a long time ago. Sorry, I've uh, got another meeting. Uh, thanks for coming in. Yeah. Think about it. Mm -hmm. What you do at the next election. About what that will mean for the people of this constituency. Steve, we're dealing with the consequences of what the government's doing at the moment. There are going to be revenge attacks. There's no doubt about that. Terrorism? <laughs> yes, terrorism. There'll be bombs because of the war. These are hotheads and criminals. They're not Muslims. The police must stop them. We're doing more to stop terrorism than the police. Sorry, he's with them. They're brainwashing him, man. Didn't we warn them not to come back? That's what I said. Laugh at us if we don't follow it up. Where's my cousin? Why should I know? But what do you want? We're here to give you notice. What are you on about? Notice of eviction. Go away and don't come back. 
What are you going to do for your brothers and sisters when they're being slaughtered in Iraq? Answer the question, what are you going to do? I won't tell you again. Come on. These people are munafiq. We need to get away from them. We need to get as far away from them as possible. Where's Farid? Hmm? You should be ashamed of yourself. You are a disgrace to Islam. Come. When you see Farid, tell him I want to talk to him. Better get ready for the march. Where are you going? I ain't going to the march. What are you talking about? I had to say go on the last one, didn't it? Yeah, I said show Tony Blair and this government that the country's against the war. Yeah, and you said they'd have to listen, but they didn't listen. They didn't listen then, and they're not going to listen tomorrow, neither. So waste the time, innit? Hey, politics isn't just a one-off thing. It's a process, right? Goes on and on. I ain't got the time to go to London and march up and down for nothing, man. Just to be ignored. You're Muslim, but you're a British Muslim. You have to be political. We're gonna go on jihad. It's my duty. There is a time for jihad and a time not for jihad. This is a time for jihad. Even if you have a jihadi tendency for it, you know you still got to do the rest. You can't just be like a violent person. You got to be a good and a kind person, right? This is Islam. The Kafir are killing us. They hate us. Not all of them. Remember, the Prophet honored people from other religions. He went to the funeral of Jews and he said, learn from his life, learn from his death. Don't you want an Islamic state, Heda? Of course I want the Khalif. We all want the Khilafah, innit? But how do we create it? By example. By being good. By being close to Allah. I want to do something useful. Who are you working through? Can you trust them? They're Muslims. Yeah. But can you trust them? What do you mean? I mean, have they asked you for money? <laughs> yeah. Well, how do you know they're not just going to run off with your money, eh? Those two boys from school, remember? The ones who went to Peshawar. They thought they were going on jihad and it was all a scam. They lost their money. Farid, you're British, yeah? You don't speak Arabic. You won't understand what's going on around you. You won't even know if the people they send to meet you... If anyone even turns up. That's right. You won't even know if they're Mujahideen or they're criminals. They could be anything. They could be CIA for all you know. Yeah, he's right, man. And the food. <laughs> it's not British food, isn't it? It'll make you sick. Ask yourself, Farid. What do you think the Iraqi people want? They have plenty of people who know how to fight. 
Do they want someone from Britain to come into their country? Is that British boy going to show the Iraqi people how to fight the infidel? Those Iraqis, they know how to fight, man. They're good fighters. Oh, do they want that British boy to stay here and put pressure on Tony Blair and the government and change what the government is doing? Your first responsibility is to save your own soul, Farid. You've got to pray. You've got to fast.